ladies and gentlemen. It looked like there's a big fight between Farmers Insurance and their brand newly hired CEO. So they've been working like a lot of places home since the pandemic. And they were given, you know, from what I understand, the impression that this is the way it always will be for farmer insurance employees. You don't have to worry about coming back to the office. Everybody will be working from home. So some of these employees said they've sold their cars because they didn't have to commute anymore. And some have moved to brand new cities, believing what well, no matter where I live, I can work remotely. So they have left the state and moved to all these different cities. And the new CEO was hired, Raul Vargas, and he's demanding that all 2,000 workers return back to the building and the workers are revolting. So, ladies and gentlemen, a new CEO says employees can't work remotely after all. And now they are putting up a huge protest. After insurance industry company Farmers Group told employees last year that most of them would be working remotely, Many made significant lifestyle changes in response to the policy. Some sold their cars, others expanded their home offices and moved their families to new cities. Last month, Raul Vargas, who recently took over as CEO, said he's reversing the approach and he would require the majority of farmer employees to be in the office three days a week. That decision sparked worker outrage. More than 2,000 comments have been posted on farmers' employee internal social media platform, most of which are negative and crying and angry emojis, according to postings viewed by the Wall Street Journal and interviews with employees. Some workers said, on the internal social media that they are prepared to quit their jobs. Others have called for unionizing. I was hired as a remote worker and was promised that the company culture moving forward would be remote work. A worker who specialized in medical claims posted, this is seemingly a power move that is frankly disgusting. Another employee in the claims division wrote, I sold my house and moved closer to my grandkids. So sad that I made a huge financial decision based on a lie. In an email to employees viewed by the journal, Vargas explained his decision saying he believed in the importance of office work for collaboration, creativity, and innovation. The company will have an opportunity to combine the best of both worlds. All that we've gained from a flexible and virtual work with all the teamwork and collaboration we get when we work together in an office, Vargas said. Farmers spokeswoman said the new system will include about 60% of the company's U.S. workforce of about 22,000 employees. She pointed out that the announced policy won't go into effect until September, giving workers three months to adjust or make arrangements. Farmer believes that as business conditions change, so, much, uh, so must business approaches. This is according to a spokeswoman. Employees said that the shift is unfair because they made life decisions based on statements made by the company that the remote policy would be permanent. Yeah, well, I mean, if you were told that, I can understand how they feel, but now you got a newly hired CEO and he wants to reverse those changes. 
So uh, the uproar at the Los Angeles-based farmers represent an emerging tension point in returning to the office saga. New management teams are imposing stricter workplace policies on employees who counted on more flexible work, uh, you know, the flexibility being permanent. So, mm -mm -mm. so they're saying they're faced with the same thing over at Walt Disney Company and David Reicher as Lyft also is pushing back on some employees after recently announcing stricter uh, office policies. So that's what's going on too. As these folks are called back to the office, they have gotten a lot stricter with what they can do with their time while they're in the office. So a lot of people are complaining it got worse when they returned back to the office. So um, in Seattle last week, hundreds of Amazon.com workers held a lunchtime demonstration against the company returning to the office policies. And yeah, I mean, thousands of employees at city agencies uh, were told they would not be allowed to continue to work remotely. So I guess it really depends on what city you're in. This is not happening in all cities, you know, but in some city workers got to go back to the office. So y'all tell me what you think. Boy, these people are, oh, they're fired up, mad that they got to go back. And they're saying the policies are ridiculous that they've come up with when these folks return back. So this CEO pretty much want them to do a hybrid schedule where they work three days at the office, two days at home. And y'all let me know. I mean, if you work remotely, are you in a situation where the company is trying to get you back in? to the office or do you currently work a hybrid schedule where sometimes you're in the office and sometimes you're home and let us know how you feel about that because i know um during the pandemic i had many subscribers tell me they were currently working from home so nevertheless let me know please leave your comment and subscribe don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.